Um, <coughs> today, um, I'm gonna make a very uh, modern, simple the chair like this. So, it's very uh, simple and clean and modern chair. All right. So let's start. So um, I'm going to use top view first. So I'm going to maximize this top view. Um, you can use shortcut to maximize viewport. Um, just Alt W is uh, the shortcut to maximize uh, the viewport. Once again, if you uh, cl um, push Alt W, it goes back to uh, default setting. So uh, s from now, I'm gonna use Alt W shortcut to maximize the viewport. Um, all right, uh, let's start with um, the spear. Okay, so um, go to geometry, and you can see uh, the spear spear um, section here. So click this spear, and then click and drag. All right, and then now you can you have a spear. All right, so um, um, this uh, sphere will be um, a sitting part of a chair. So um, we are going to edit this uh, perfect sphere. Okay, so uh, the first actually, if you want, you can um, input the exact measurement, exact size of the sitting. So let's start with that and click the the select this sphere and then let's go to modify panel and then um, you can see uh, the sphere pro uh, properties here and then you have uh, several uh, parameters and in here you can change the radius, segment and hemisphere value. So um, the chair will be, uh, uh, the, the sitting part will be approximately um, 20 inch right so and then the segment um, you can just input um, 15 segment okay so um, and then now you have a uh, this uh, perfect sphere but uh, for the sitting part we we need just a half sphere so uh, I'm going to change this hemisphere value as a 0.5 so now you have a half sphere and then we need we need to flip this sphere to uh, create the sitting part so let's going to let's go to the meter here this is meter tool so click this meter tool and then you can change the mirror axis x y z uh, we need well, we need to change this G axis so um, click OK and then now you have um, this half sphere uh, shape then uh, I'm going to um, delete this uh, top surface of the half sphere uh, because to make the sitting part uh, we need uh, kind of empty shape so um, to eliminate this top surface um, this sphere object will be will be uh, we need to change the, its as a uh, editable object so for that um, select this object and then uh, right click on your mouse and then convert to editable poly so uh, this object um, is changed as editable poly from a sphere object so then to delete this uh, top surface let's go to uh, um, the inside of editable poly property to go there actually you can click the plus and then uh, you have uh, five different uh, properties. We need we need to edit polygon here. So click polygon, and then you can uh, select the top surface 
Okay, so uh, let's select every um, polygon on the top surface and then just delete. All right, so that's it. And then um, deselect. Um, but now uh, you have just um, uh, the bowl sh empty bowl shape without the uh, thickness. So we need to add uh, the thickness of this empty bowl. So uh, for that, we are going to use certain uh, command in the modifier list. So uh, select this bowl, and then you can open the modifier list, and then you can you have to find shell function. So um, let's type the S on the keyboard, and it goes to directly to the command that has S character. So you have you find the shell function here. So click this shell, and then um, uh, automatically the shell command create one inch uh, thickness. All right. So um, I think one inch enough. So um, just remain everything, and then keep everything, and that's it. And now you have a. Uh, the thickness of half sphere uh, object. So uh, now um, I'm going to change this uh, half empty bowl shape uh, to the sitting part of chair. For that, um, we need to change this um, the shell uh, bowl object uh, as a editable poly again. So let's change. Uh, right click on your mouse, convert to uh, editable poly, right? Oh, I'm sorry. Let's let's do it again. Convert to editable poly. So now uh, this shape is editable poly object. So uh, let's go to. Uh, I'm gonna use uh, left view. So type just L, it goes to left view directly. And then select this object. And then uh, to, um, to change the shape, to edit the shape, uh, we need to grab uh, the vertex. So let's go to uh, editable poly properties. And you now you have a this properties and we need to select vertex here and then you you can select the vertex right so uh, first um, I'm gonna select uh, top and second row uh, the vertex so and then uh, I'm gonna rotate alright so this is select a move tool this is select and rotate tool. So click this rotate tool, and then uh, you can um, you can grab this uh, the yellow circle to rotate. Okay, so let's rotate first, and then um, I'm going to extend. I'm going to extend the scale of this top part. So for that, once again, we need to select uh, the the top and second rows vertex, okay. And then let's go to top view, all right. And then this is scale tool, right? Select a non-uniform scale. Click this, and then um, you can drag, all right. So, all right, and then let's see at the left view, all right, and then next step is um, um, just select the top rows 